Welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. When we last left off, we had gained the ability to swim by killing Rahab and absorbing his soul, or, well, devouring it. And also, we went and did a whole bunch of stuff that was a lot of water-related adventures, pretty much. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to jump back right in the water. <laughs> Yeah, because I need to go back to where the water shrine is. Or, well, the place where I can get the water glyph. Because there's something that I missed. And thank you, Reaver of Cupcakes, for pointing this one out. Because, oops, oh god! Frickin' hell. That was a little... I don't like it when things in the water frickin' pump. Jump out at me like that! Frick off! Frickin' screw you! Ugh. Ugh. Oh wait, stop it! Jeez, great, I got a stalker on my tail. Great. Get out of the water, I freaking dare you! Yeah, see, they can shoot while they're in the water. I thought they... <laughs> thought I might have gotten something mixed up with Rahab. And the Rahabim, but nope. There isn't. Anyways, let's get over here. And yes, there is in fact a health upgrade. I really need to pay attention. And bow down to me. Oh, I'm right at the entrance to the city. Or well, the proper entrance anyways. Also, by the way, I did actually did a little testing with the yeah, bow down to me with the water glyph, and it is in fact not lethal. Because the fact is that it only just douses the vampires in water, not actually submerging them. So it makes sense that only a little bit of water won't kill them. And there goes stuff. And now this place truly is dead. Too bad, really, because if the game wasn't all cut, didn't have all the cut content that it did, we would actually eventually needed to come here in order to get to the Undercity and the temple where the priestess is would have been located. And yeah, I'm just climbing up here because there's so many... There's so many climbable areas. There's quite a few scalable areas in the human citadel. And also there's, let's see, can I? Yes, I can. Yeah, I'm just doing this because there's a little bit of exploration here. Just thought I'd show you this. Yeah, we can get on top of the water tower. Whee! Yeah, look at that! whoop de doo And, there we go. Whee! Black! <laughs> Thank goodness there's no fall damage. Oh god. Fall damage can suck. Let's see. Now, let us actually get moving, shall we? And now, with all the water related stuff done, let's do something that is completely opposite. What is the opposite of cold? Yes. It's time to heat things up in this video and where do we need to go well you'll see soon enough once I get to the actual warp room let's see now I just want to go here okay and let's see yes we need to go to Raziel's territory Bye bye, human citadel. Never want to see your face again. Because really, it's just. Yeah, there's nothing left in there at all. Ugh, really need to pay more attention. Frickin'. Get out of here! And explode. Yeah! Also, I did s discover something really interesting about the stone glyph, and I'll actually demonstrate it a little in a little bit, but right now it would be pointless. 
Now, for now, let's just go into this part of the territory of Raziel's former, where his kin used to live. And we want to go up in here. Let's see. Is there stuff? There's something that we can actually get in here. Now, what we want to do is... See this torch here? Yep. Want to grab it. For late, it's gonna be for later. But for right now, it's we can't use it. And also, saw that motif there. Hmm. Wonder what that's all about. And I'm just gonna put this torch handle right here. Or torch. Why do I say handle? It's not much of a handle. Ugh. Anyways, what we want to do is we want to go up here. Hey. You! Want me to teach you how to river dance? Here! And yeah, that's all it does. <laughs> and they look silly. Now, let, it, let me actually use the stone glyph. Now, of course, we can actually charge up, or we can just smack them. Yeah, that's what's really good about the stone glyph. It actually causes enemies to shatter when you hit them. Though I don't know if you... If it can be done with your claws or whatnot, but eh. anyways. Oh, that music should be familiar. And yeah, see that door there? Yeah, we can open it. We have to open it with this crank. However, as soon as we do that, we got to shift into the spectral realm because that door will slam shut. Now let us go back into the material realm and... See? Now it is closed. And now we just want to grab this crank and open the door. And there is a graphical glitch. Yeah. Anyways. Let's actually move on. Yeah, the stone glyph is actually by far... <laughs> did 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 dance do the dance do the dance you know what actually let's test I'm gonna test it can I just shatter him with this with the handle ah oh, crap yeah it has to be that oh jeez well you know what Oh, stop it! Just, I'm just gonna dodge him. Yeah. Sucks. Balls it up. Yeah, you... Pretty sure... I don't know. I'm pretty sure it has to be the, st the Soul Reaver, but... Eh. Nope. Panoramic viewing! Um, stuff. And... Looky here. Ooh. Source of fire and a mural with a vampire on it. Hmm. Anyways, let's do this. Nope, I'm gonna go in that and I want to chuck the torch all the way up there. Now we want to shift into the spectral realm and yes, as you can see, there is a vampire. But three strikes at the Soul Reaver and it's gone. Now we need to climb up these pillars, and it's a little annoying to do so. Because you can easily fall up, or fall off them. Whoa! Careful now. Yeah, some of these pillars are a little difficult. And you kind of want to hurry, because I think I remember, if I remember correctly, I did see that Vampire Wraith respawn. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. Oh, if I fall now, I'm going to be so miffed. Oh! And oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> the torch landed right near the planar portal. And let's grab this and let us take a... Hmm. A little hard to read. 
What the hell? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Wait, I'm sorry, I've just got to. Olrific? Or wait, no, that sounds wrong. Olirific. Or something like that. I don't know. Like that's a little weird. I don't know. Low textures! Anyways, let's actually and climb all the way back and now I need to go back to that one room where I use the crank and I want to avoid these Dumahim vampires and I don't want to use my torch on them and they just stood there like dummies <laughs> what the hell yeah you know, for six points, the water glyph really isn't all that great. Because you could either just use the stone glyph if you have the... If you have the soul reverb, because you can actually shatter them. Or you can just use the sound glyph or something like that. Anyways. See this big statue? This is where we need to be. And, with this torch, we can now light this basin up. Let us do so, shall we? Some super hot fire going on all up in here. And with that, we now have the fire glyph. This is our first true lethal glyph as it sends out an expanding ring of fire, which will, of course, incinerate both human and vampire alike. And its animation is pretty similar to the water glyph. And it costs eight. Boom! Yeah, the only real reason you'd want to get the water glyph is just so you can get the Eldritch energy from it. Now, let us get going. And it's actually time that I actually went to Rahab's territory. Back into the Drowned Abbey, because there's something there that I that I skipped on purpose. And it's... should be... probably... Be, well, it should become clear as to why. Let's find the entrance. That's yeah, all the way down here. Ugh, getting disoriented! Yeah, the water... Oh, where's the door? <laughs> I can't even find a door! Okay, where the f <laughs> Right up there. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I never really did use this passageway a whole lot. And let's just swim all the way down here. And keep on swimming, and keep on swimming, and keep on swimming. Keep her going. <gasps> yeah, swimming under... When swimming underwater and that music happens oh that actually gets me on on me all nervous ah! yes yeah, see they break ah I got two of him on my ass no get away yeah that's just if all these bust if all those Rahabim just busted out at the same time oh man that would be freaky as hell <laughs> Also, by the way, if you just hold the X button, Raziel just does that. And look at this. What is this? Well, whatever the heck it is, we need to shatter it. Yep. You have to use telekinetic force in order to break open that glass pane. And with that, we come up to here. <gasps> and what is this? Well, let's swing at it. This elemental forge is tuned to the Soul Reaver's energy. Once baptized in this primordial flame, the blade may be imbued with fire at any future time. Yes! We now have the Fire Reaver! Which will now ignite enemies on fire. And of course also the projectile will 
light them on fire as well. And speaking of cut content that I mentioned before, and actually before I actually go on that, thing to note about the Fire Reaver is that if you go into water, it will extinguish. Go away! Oh, isn't that isn't that cute? See, it it went away. Yeah, the thing is about the specifically the place where the fire glyph was obtained. It was pro. I think it was meant to actually be in. The location of it was meant to be in the smokestacks. And another thing to note is that there was meant to be other f other elemental reavers. Five were cut from the game. The sunlight... Oh, God. Let's see. The, ah! Frickin' shocks! Let's see. Yes, there was the sunlight, stone... Let's see. Water, sound, and spirit reavers. They all did different stuff. Like the sun reaver would... The Sunlight Reaver was actually not that impressive. You'd think it would instantly kill it, kill vampires, but no, it didn't. It didn't. It wouldn't have. Apparently, it would have just, like, took a few strikes to actually do so. It's just, like, they all had different properties, but I'm pretty... I'm guessing that they were just, like, turned into the glyphs as they are in this game. And where the frick do I go? Okay, I just need to get my bearings, because this... It is a little disorienting. Yeah, and one of the... Where the water forge would have possibly been? Would have possibly been where the... That one fountain in the... Human Citadel where I found that health power up. Ah! What the hell? And also this... You could have used this to light the fire... To get the fire glyph. Yeah, there really isn't much difference in using this, using this or the torch. The torch just takes a little extra time. But yeah, if you had the, if you didn't, if you didn't have the, yeah, see, right there, that's the power of the fire reaver. Right there, two telekinetic shots on a fledgling, and it causes it to burn. Yeah, that's what makes this thing is just awesome. And now we actually have a ranged attack that will kill. So losing the f losing the fire reaver won't be a problem if, as long as well we have a source of fire to ignite the reaver with. Now let us go into the gate, and next we need to go back to the silenced cathedral. And there's that, there's that thing that I had Raziel just yank off the side and just absolutely cause some vandalism. <laughs> yes, bow down to me. Not that I really need to worry about you guys, because I'm not sure I will see humans that often at all. It will be a rare sight for humans. And of course, you probably saw that at the top of the screen, but... Yep. Need to go into here. Normally I'd leave these off, I would have left all these off until I could get all five in a row, but might as well get these, these ones now, so that way I can just never have to deal with coming back here ever again. And climb it up, and... Aha! There is yet another one. And let us go down into the water yet again. And combat music, or danger music, is afoot. But, anyways, that shall be it from me. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video where we shall go beyond this gate. But what lies ahead? Well, that's for me to know, and along with other people who've played this game up to this point, and for you, for those of you who haven't played, to find out.